Hello, so this is not a tutorial, it's not a comedy video, it's kind of, a, um, it's an informative look at the YouTube API. So if that's of interest, uh, keep watching. If it's not, then, well, up to you what you go and do really, isn't it? It's a free world, apart from when you're locked down inside your house and you're not allowed to go anywhere, but we won't go into that. Let's have a look at the YouTube API. What is this about? Well, I've just explained it. It's about the YouTube API, but I haven't explained uh, where you would get more information. Um, Developers.google.com forward slash YouTube. And um, the, what, the API that I'm using is uh, the data API, API version three. Uh, that's the main one. Sounds like a bit of a complicated name, but it's, it's the main one. If you look into it very much, you'll, you'll kind of realize that that's, uh, that's the one that you need to be working with. Uh, let users watch, find, and manage YouTube content. And uh, obviously, at the moment, stuck at home if you don't watch uh, terrestrial television then YouTube's probably one of your your outlets or some other types of tube which we won't go into <clears throat> what's been done so far well this is like a progress report so uh, uh, I'll show you in a minute I'll just run through the rest of this list um, <clears throat> I've written a load of code in Python uh, at the moment I'm looking I've uh, had to actually go and uh, uh, it's not something I've used a lot, nested dictionary, and I'm sure it's something that is can be confusing for many of us without big brains. So yeah, iterate through a nested dictionary. So it's a dictionary of dictionaries. And I've deliberately chosen to make a nested dictionary with uh, my program, partly for practice and experience of using nested dictionaries and partly because I believe it is the best method of storing the data that I need to work with and then accessing that data and manipulating it with a view to uploading that data back to YouTube. Why am I doing this? Um, I had an idea, well, two ideas, but um, I'm sure you're familiar with, uh, or you may may not be familiar with, Code Monkey King and his excellent web scraping site. Um, he asked me to set up a mirror for his um, Python online program um, on Heroku app. So they have free dynos, and if you have the free account, then after so much use, then the program sort of freezes until half an hour later when it unlocks itself or something like that. Um, they want you to upgrade and give them loads of money. But um, this is open source. He's written some good code. He's providing uh, a, a website where you can go and practice your Python code properly. You can use import. You can do web scraping if you want to practice that. Um, and I think that's really valuable because I've got a Chromebook because I don't want to pay the Microsoft tax. Um, so on my Chromebook, and I don't want to set it into developer mode because then it takes about a minute to boot or whatever. So uh, anyway, it, if you want to practice Python and you want to practice it online, then um, it's called it Epico, E-P-Y-C-O, epico.herikuapp.com. Uh, it's a really good program. He's written it with um, a Flask user interface or using Flask, which is a really lightweight um, web uh, front end. And it's really good. He's written it, he's providing a service. So I thought, I'd, you know, uh, he asked me if I would set up a mirror, which I was more than pleased to do. So I've done that. Long story short, he's now got a mirror of his Epico, and this one is called. Epico, but it's spelled E P I C O. Uh, now he's got he's done about 170 odd videos uh, at the time of recording this, and obviously 170 descriptions. So if anybody watches one of his old videos, it's not got his new Epico mirror added to the description. So that got me thinking: Is there a way how you can use a YouTube API to? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, where's where is he? Um, code monkey king. If 
we just look at a description of one of his uh, let's just choose a suitable one um, let's, let's go for this one so hi guys finally I've decided yeah it's got the description a this is an old one so he, he didn't even put the description in he just put a link so all about. Um, but before, more recent uh, ones um, let's see if we can find one let's just look at a description so here we go he's got the links um, but what we need to what he wants to do is to put the link to his Epico um, my Epico mirror in the descriptions of the video so potentially tag it onto the end um, on new videos and on some videos it's already in the description so um, that's another bridge that we got across anyway you want to see some code so uh, I've written some code I've got these errors this morning so I'll just show you what this error or explain what this error was it's because I've been using idle on Linux and uh, in on BMP character not supported in TK TK obviously is, is getting the error so um, I've seen that error I'll just show you if I can so that error I've ended up putting um, a try accept pass it's a bit of a bad workaround but um, just so that I can test it in idle and do this video for you I've done that um, so that's one error I was getting if you ever see that try running the code from terminal and you probably find that it's uh, it will work um, back to my notes lost my train of thought where is my where are my notes ah here we go um, so explain what this is about it's about downloading information downloading descriptions and titles from YouTube using the API what's been done so far um, I've written this code so far which you would have seen in the previous video um, I'm not going to go through all the code again but you can see the uh, the function so um, I'll create an instance called of, of, um, the YouTube get class I make a directory, I ask the user for a destination directory, what do they want to call their, their new directory, where they're going to save all their data to. Uh, we get the channel videos using um, the YouTube API. Um, save description, we ask the user if they want to save the descriptions, they can say yes or no. We ask the user if they want to save thumbnails, which is the images. Uh, that's work, that's um, that can go in a minute and then at the end we want to edit the descriptions um, hmm. I need to change some of the names on these functions because that's not actually editing that is so here we go right so um, Let's call it display description. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing all this in idle and it looks a bit clunky, I just think it's a nice clear it's it's a nice clear way to display the uh, program on my Ubuntu machine and it's suited it's but the best way to do it for these videos. Right, um, let's do dictionary. We'll go back to that in a minute because that uh, takes a bit of getting your head around. Right, one last thing, the uploads. The uploads, I've been reading about that and the uh, the way to upload is, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, reading of the notes with, um, I may have to use OAuth or you may have to actually manually confirm the upload of a new description each time. So although the code will upload 170 odd descriptions you may just have to manually click yes or okay doing each one I'm not sure about that yet there's so much about downloading but there's very there's much less information about uploading and often it's in we use if 
the bits that you do find is often PHP or um, JavaScript and so on. So I hopefully I'm, well, I wouldn't say I'm breaking new ground, but um, I'm, I'd like to be able to provide a video for you also that it makes it quite clear on how to um, upload descriptions or amend descriptions and then upload them back up to YouTube. Um, that's what I would like to do. We will see how far I can get with it. YouTube application programming interface or the YouTube API allows developers to access video statistics and YouTube channels. So this code I'm writing, you can actually, you can access any channel. I've chosen one at random uh, of one of my favorite recording artists and uh, there's 27 videos on that channel. So that's, I found that to be a, a really good number of videos. Um, when I was testing it with CodeMonkey, he had 117, it was taking ages to test it. So anyway, Google described the YouTube API resources as APIs and tools that let you bring the YouTube experience to your web page, application or device. Um, that's a very good point. If I can master this, then I may end up um, making a front end for it with a uh, web page and running it with Flask and may even end up on a website or Heroku, uh, whatever. Uh, I digress. Right, let's um, let's get back to the code. So I've been, I, the start of this code was pretty rough. Um, so we've added a doc string. I've we factored it to use object-oriented programming, so we've got uh, we've created an instance, and we're using all of these methods here. Um, I've described all those already. Um, as I'm going, it's obviously adding bits and pieces further along the process. So. Um, the first thing was to obviously in it, then we make the directory, we ask the user where to save the files, we get the data, we save, we offer to save the descriptions of thumbnails. Um, that was open JSON, that was just to preview the JSON. The only problem is that can crash your machine if you've got too much data. Well, not crash, but it, it, it freezes up the process for idle. The best way to do it is to click on the little compressed yellow rectangle and copy the data, but that's by the by. Um, today I'm working on display description. Uh, so I'm opening the JSON file, which I've already appended with the new text. Um, so I'm reading JSON file back into a dictionary, and then once I've got the dictionary, um, it's like a nested dictionary, which I'm reading back the um so it's got the key is a number so I've, I've created the dictionary with a number it's the key and then the value is another dictionary and inside that dictionary is the title and the description the title being the key and the value being the description if that makes sense this dictionaries are hmm, well let you decide I don't find them entirely simple to grasp, but it's practice, I guess. Um, right, enough of me talking, let's run it. Uh, actually, I'm going to close. Uh, do I need to show you any other errors before I lose this? I don't think so. I've shown you the TK error. Actually, let's. Hmm. Let's close idle. I'll just run it in um, in terminal to start with. Let's maximize that. Checking for YouTube thumbnails. What do you want to name the folder of these downloads? Uh, what word shall we use today? Think of a random word. Just so that you can remember it, let's call it helicopter. I can spell it right. Okay. Do you want to save the descriptions? Yes, that's the whole point. 
and it's retrieved 27 videos, which is what we want. Do you want to save the thumbnails? Um, no. And then it runs the display underscore description, which then displays the um, the description, which is the value of uh, the, sec the, the inner dictionary. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it. Right. In between the asterisks, that's the title of the video. That's sort of, that makes sense, I think. That's fairly evident. Um, as we can see, these were uploaded pretty much with similar descriptions. I'm guessing those were default descriptions and um, occasionally he's uploaded them with a diff uh, sort of extra description maybe. But it looks like that was set as kind of a default in the description. So every upload had that. Um, the reason I'm talking about this is because with Code Monkey King, where you can see on these videos, there's the Twitter link to Ben Howard Music and Hell Up Records and Island Records UK. Code Monkey King, the idea would be then to put Epico with the Y and Epico with the I put those two links there. Um, so the easiest way to do it will be just to add new text at the end. How have I done that? Well, when I was saving the original title and description, I just added um, a variable called additional, additional text. So when the original dictionary got saved, the additional text was uh, a variable and the variable equaled that string. That may be sufficient. Um, so that's the, the way around that will be to use regular expressions and to check if there are currently any links to Epico already. Really what we need to do is check if there's already an Epico link. If there is, um, add the mirror just below it. If there's not, then add Epico and the Epico mirror, add two links, um, and then either add them to the end or add them, add them after the first paragraph, for instance, in which case we'll need to do regular expression and look for word boundaries and it will start getting a bit more complicated. Um, might be a nice practice for regular expressions because that would help me good practice. Um, so what does all this mean? Um, let's go back and look at a YouTube video. So just to illustrate what these actually uh, if we Google for that, oh, let's go on YouTube. I know this video is going to be quite long, but hopefully, if you're you're struggling for information on um, YouTube API and updating, then I want this to be kind of a quite a comprehensive video, and I don't really want to just skim over it. So. Um, you're welcome to watch as much or as little of this as you want. Uh, I don't even, let's just play it because I don't want to see a horrible advert. Sure, go, go, go. Right. So yeah, this is a, it's a music video. How many adverts? Fuck's sake. Okay. So it's a music video that the that's called the title, so with the API, that is called the title, and the title is equal to snippet, index snippet, index title, which um, was part of um, what 
we retrieved with YouTube.playlist.items.list up here. Um, and that was using the YouTube method, which was part of the YouTube API. I hope I've explained that properly. Um, so yeah, back to the video. So we've got, if I put that up there, that's looking, uh, hopefully that's makes a lot of sense to you now because you can see that is is that that's on the internet on YouTube website that is saved locally on my Linux machine in a JSON file and then printed back out uh, okay so snippet title and snippet description so we've come full circle we've collected snippet title and snippet description uh, we've saved them to a JSON file uh, and obviously this what we're seeing on the purple Ubuntu shell screen is the JSON file being outputted back to the screen and with the amended uh, text. So on YouTube you've got the original and on my computer is the proposed um, the proposed version or basically the updated amended description. Uh, I know I keep repeating myself but I just want to make it clear to everyone that's, that's on my computer that's live on YouTube okay so forget about whose channel channel it is because uh, when I find out how to re-upload or how to upload the amended description back up I'll be doing it with my channel because that's the one that I've got the API for uh, I'll be testing it on mine and if successful then um, I'll send the working Python code to CodeMonkey King and if he needs to get a, an API and run the code he's welcome to um, if not then perfectly okay it's um, it may end up being a bit laborious anyway if you do have to manually um, okay or verify that you want to amend the description so this was more an exercise in um, getting to know the YouTube API and downloading data and storing as dictionary and using nested dictionaries um, just uh, to recap before we go um, that was the bit that processed the nested dictionary so for i which is the number and value which is uh, so, sorry i was the key so that was just a number like number one down to 28 because there were 28 videos val so val was the value which actually was a dictionary in its own right so for number and then the dictionary in data items I do for key in value so that's the key of the value and then I print the key uh, but uh, index one which is actually the description yeah it's very difficult to explain this I find I have to um, these five lines really you uh, you're best to experiment with and tinker with yourself um, I like to just um, copy someone else's uh, solution or tutorial should we say copy it with all of their variable names get it running and then rename it with my variable names and then start playing around with it start changing indexes 
and uh, see what I get. Hope this has been interesting and um, I would say I'm probably two thirds of the way, well hmm, halfway through this now. So I've, I've downloaded the data from YouTube, I've modified it and the next phase will be to look at how to upload it back to YouTube and if I can, it's no harm done. I've still got a working program which downloads files and it's sorry, downloads descriptions, downloads titles, and also gets a load of thumb load up, look, gets a load of thumbnails. Just gonna run it again. This time I'll run it with the download thumbnails feature. So you can see I've just cleared out the thumbnails directory. If thumbnails directory didn't exist, it would make it. So let's delete that as well. So you can see everything from this. So Python three, you. YT API thumb get. Thumbnails folder does not exist, making it for you. What do you want to name the folder of these downloads? So this will be the name of the folder inside the YouTube thumbnails folder. And I'm going to call it Rucksack. Do you want to save a description? So that's the descriptions and the titles and it will save the descriptions it will save a dictionary of description and sorry inside the dictionary will be title colon description and that dictionary will then be referenced with that will become the value and then the key will become a number which will be the index value so there'll be 28 I believe do you want to save the descriptions yeah let's just do it do you want to save so 27 rather. do you want to do you want to save thumbnails yeah and nice little progress bar with the asterisks and in capital letters this will be the new text so if we go and look in the folder we have folder called rucksack and I haven't yet separated the JSON from the thumbnails I may or may not do that it's only really fine-tuning and well life's too short um, yeah you've got the thumbnails so I'll just show there's no sleight of hand here those are they're 100% so 100% size I think they're 480 by uh, 320 I believe so each one of those thumbnails is the high-res thumbnail of each video on that channel and right JSON let's just look at the JSON it's open like that because I've used the text editor you've already seen it here displayed properly and to wrap up this will be the new text which came from um, here so I created a variable called this will be the new text um, when we run it for real that will say um, if we run it on code monkey king site it will say Epico. Blah, blah, blah. Just, well, okay, let's run it again just to, uh, just for lols. Um, the channel ID, so, and also then you would modify that for the channel ID of the channel that you want to get the data from. Um, to get the channel ID, you have to click on yeah that if you hover over the link for I'm pointing with my finger that is so done why am I doing that I haven't got a webcam so this is why you never see me and also because I'm incognito um where was I lost my train of thought probably a 
too much coffee. Um, 30 minutes you've been watching this for. Are you crazy? <sighs> I think we're all a bit crazy actually for after this global pandemic. Uh, right, just to finally wrap up, um, you get the ID, the channel ID from there. So you hover over the person's name, and you can see channel forward slash, and then it's U C A Y L B L E seven U S F B Y J blah blah blah. That's the channel ID. You, so if you change that, all this code's on GitHub, by the way. So you're welcome to download it and use it. Channel ID there. So if you want to use Justin Bieber, you get his channel ID. Whack that in there. And if you do, then you are not my friend. Uh, additional text, right? Epico, blah blah blah. Let's run it again. So it's not make it, checking for YouTube thumbnails, but notice how this time it didn't say no such folder making it for you. Obviously, because this already exists. Do you want to name the folder? What do you want to name the folder of these downloads? So the last one was called Rucksack. Um, actually, let's call this one. Epico. I'm using capitals because Maxim used capitals. Do you want to save the descriptions? Yeah, of course we do. That's the whole point. Do you want to save the thumbnails? No, we've already got them. You've seen those. And why does that say? Ah. Uh, this is the beauty of doing a live video. You see my stupid mistakes. Save. I didn't save the code. Ich bin eine Dummkopf, ja. Run it again. Um, I'm not going to. F. Epico. Fixed. Do you want to save the descriptions? Yes. Do you want to save thumbnails? No. There we go. Works. So yeah, again, you see, uh, you see the beauty of doing a live video. You see warts and all of which there are plenty. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you like it. Uh, next video will be, I don't know, might be a day or two. Who knows? And it will feature more progress and potentially, well, it will show me trying to upload whether I succeed or not who knows that's all the beauty of tuning in and finding out I'll see you then yeah, bye.